Hello in 2021. In this first video this year, I would like to show you how to install and configure Homebrew, a package manager for macOS on the Apple Silicon computer. So just recently, Homebrew added support for Apple Silicon CPU, and I would like to test it with you, if it's working and uh, if it's possible to use that. But eventually, I would like to migrate from Homebrew to something like Nix Package Manager. Unfortunately, they haven't yet finished the transition to Apple Silicon. So right now we are on the January 5th. They are testing the new infrastructure to build packages for this architecture. And I'm following that. Once they have some results, I will be trying to migrate. I was also thinking about using something like Package Source, which is a framework for building software packages. And it is the native package manager for Smart SmartOS, NetBSD, and Minix. Maybe you know that, but macOS is somehow based on BSD. This package manager is relatively old and used for operating systems such as SmartOS, macOS, Linux, and NetBSD. So it'd be pretty nice to, to do that. But unfortunately, they haven't yet provided uh, support for Apple Silicon. So there is this issue when a person asks about the support and they, they respond that they are working on this. So maybe I will write a comment here and ask um, the status. And if something comes out of this, well, I will try to test it on Apple Silicon. But for now, let's try with Homebrew and let's see if it's uh, usable. So we'll just copy this, this line and I will paste it. So it seems good. Okay, so we need to... So I'm doing it first time. I'm not sure if I mentioned that at the beginning. I just wanted to share the actual process. Uh, agree, okay. So let's try again. Okay, it seems we have it. So let's maybe quickly read successful. Okay, so I'm okay for them to gather the analytics because they are doing a great job. Right now I'm by default, I haven't installed anything. So this is bash, but I prefer Z shell or rather, uh, no, I think I've changed that already. <laughs> yeah, it's Z shell, so it's, it's correct. So let's add this line to the Z profile. I just haven't configured it. Maybe I will do a video about that. Let's start a new instance and let's try to install something. So maybe something like FD. Okay, we don't have the, the command. I don't see it. I'm not sure what's wrong. Uh, if I start a new window, do I have brew? Yeah, I have. Okay, so I need to start a new window and let's try to install something. Okay, so proper architecture. I'm not sure if I mentioned that at the beginning, but you could use Homebrew on Apple Silicon with the Rosetta layer. But the idea was to, you know, use it without that layer and then to use packages that are compiled specifically for this architecture. So it seems this works. So now I have on my other computer, I have this brew file. I will migrate it, uh, maybe not all at once, but in this file you can define you know, things that you are using and easily store them usually in a Git repository. So let's say that I want, you know, Python, Ansible, just to see if it works. You know, sometimes I'm using Perl, Go, maybe Ruby. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I think I forgot the command. It was brew bundle. And when you run it the first time, it integrates this tab and then you can use it. Okay, it seems it's working. So if you're interested, I will share my brew file, the entire file on GitHub, and I will post the link in the description of this video. But it seems it works and it's pretty easy to set up right now. There is no Rosetta involved. It's uh, all native, so I'm pretty happy about that. But as I said, eventually I would like to use something like Nix on this platform, on this architecture, or maybe this little thing, this package manager. So we'll see how it goes. 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.